Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well today we're going to be doing another catch, clean, and cook. And we're going to be cooking a fish today in some areas of the world can be very toxic and can actually harm you. We're going to be cooking up Barracuda. Absolutely love this fish, I've been eating it for a very long time. But you got to be careful what areas that you uh, harvest the fish and what areas you eat them at. But we'll get into that in this video. But real quick, check out this footage of us catching a couple Barracuda. Then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. And I'll see you back here at the fryer. Got a double. Summer and Amber both hooked up. Still got them, Summer? Yeah. Let's see what we got here. That was quick, wasn't it, Cap? That was pretty quick. <laughs> that was pretty quick. We like it when they're hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Alright, yours is coming up, babe. Hers is coming up. Alright, stop, babe. Alright, what we got here? Got a little weight to this thing right here. Oh, Cuda. We got a Cuda, babe. It's a Cuda? Yep, it's a Cuda. <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? All right. Wow. Nice coop. Yeah. <laughs> nice coop. All right, guys. I got one. My turn behind the wheel. Real. I think he came off. I don't know. No, he did. Oh, he's still there. I think. Yeah, that's a little guy. What a little cuda. No, he's here. There we go. Hold the real summer. Alright guys, well we got a couple of barracuda here, so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up. 
They're pretty easy fish to clean. They're not that hard at all. And against what a lot of people say, Barracuda is an absolutely incredible eating fish. They really are. They are delicious. So basically how I clean my coot, I do it really quick. I just make an incision and go down the whole filet of the fish. Just like that, comes off really easy. Same thing here. You'll notice right up here by their head, same thing with king mackerel. They got these little bony things like this. They're kind of a little weird, but. All right. All right, there are two cuda fillets right there. We'll discard that. All right. Got two really nice barracuda fillets. As you can notice, I got some really nice looking meat. I'll go right here. One down skin, actually. A skin and knife. Oops. Just got done cleaning some sharks, so my knives are a little dull. There we go. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of the meat on the skin. So I can get away from a little bit of that dark meat. Just like that. You see it left most of that bloodline on the skin. I got a really clean fillet here. And so come through and get these bones out. It's belly meat. Just like that. All right. And there you go guys, you have a really nice barracuda filet and I like to cut into little steaks. There you go guys, there's my barracuda meat. As you can see, it's very nice looking meat, very good looking. And this stuff, fried, baked, grilled, is amazing. All right y'all, well, I got some barracuda here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna cut this bloodline out. Just like that. And discard that. Just cut them into nice little chunks. I'm just going to be frying these up. And barracuda you can cook in all kinds of different ways. They're great grilled, great fried. They're very good baked. Just a very good fish, and it's kind of hard to mess this fish up. It's just as good as any snapper, any grouper you'll ever eat. It is absolutely delicious. But it does get a bad rap because in some areas of the world, it can be very toxic. It can contain a cigataria poisoning, which is a poisoning that starts on blue-green algae on the reef system, and it just goes through the food chain. The small fish eat the algae, bigger fish eat the small fish, so on, so on. And it just accumulates in the body and they never get rid of it. You can't cook it out of it. You can't, there's no test to see if the fish has it or not. So you just gotta be very careful. But here in the state of Florida, especially in the area that I live, in central Florida, there has never been a case of cigataria poisoning. It's mainly in the Bahamas or in the Caribbean. So pretty much, if you catch barracuda in the state of Florida, they're pretty safe to eat. But you can always check to make yourselves feel better. You can always check uh, your local disease control to see if there's been any cases of cigataria poisoning in your area to give you some peace of mind. But basically, state of Florida, especially in my area, there's never been a case whatsoever. And a lot of people eat barracuda here. And another thing you can do to, to lower the risk of the cigataria poisoning is eat smaller barracuda. Don't eat your real, real big ones. Like me personally, I keep fish under 50 pounds. Anything over 50 pounds, I pretty much let them go. But anywhere from 30 on down to these ones, these ones were in, you know, 8, 9, 10 pound range. Perfect size for eating, extremely safe to eat. And I'm telling you all, you can't go wrong with them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my chunks of barracuda and I'm just going to roll it in some house autry. You guys see me do, see me do this many, many times with other fish. We don't use egg wash. We just use the moisture of the fish with a house autry and it comes out awesome. 
But one thing I will tell you about Barracuda, you don't need a whole lot of it. It is a very dense, very meaty fish, and this stuff will fill you up really quick. A little Barracuda goes a long way. This little mount I have right here will feed three people with no problem. Another little thing I'll tell you about Barracuda, if you read up on them and you read on the cigatari poisoning, it accumulates in the red meat of the fish. So cutting out the bloodline is another step to ensure that you have a safe fish to feed your family. But like I said earlier, I've been eating Barracuda all my adult life. I used to sell them commercially. When I first started doing it, I thought I was selling them for bait. I was just selling them to the fish house. And I questioned one time, so why am I always having to gut these fish if they're just a bait fish for sharks? And I said, no, we sell these for food. We ship these all around the world as a food species. And I was like, what? That can't be good. So the guy at the fish house fried some up and I ate some for the first time, and from that day forward, I have never let a barracuda go. They have quickly became one of my top fish to eat. All right, well, we got our green light on the fryer here, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in. I think we'll be able to do all this on one batch, I think. I think we'll be able to do it all. All right. All right, well, we'll let these cook, and this is going to be excellent. All righty, they are looking awesome. A couple more minutes, and they should be done. All right. Now they look awesome. Go. Those are done. All right. Put those down there. I'm just going to hit them with some salt. Just a little bit. Alrighty. I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to do a little taste test real quick. Awesome. Alrighty. I got my Barracuda. I'm just going to do a real quick taste test. But I got some french fries cooking. Then I'm going to have a the ladies come join me and we're going to eat dinner. So I don't ever really eat dinner without them. These are just a little taste test. I've had a couple of people make comments. Why am I eating without Amber and Summer? They don't like to be on camera. They don't like to eat on camera. So I just do a quick taste test and then we eat dinner afterwards. But here is some Barracuda. As you can see how flaky and white that meat is. I mean that is some seriously cool looking stuff right there. That is some flaky white meat. Wow. I promise you, once you try Barracuda, you will never let another one go. Ever. And I don't care who you are. I don't care how picky you are on fish. I don't care how some people, they only eat white flaky fish. They only eat certain fish. Try this and you will be hooked. They are phenomenal. And in this area of Florida, I'm pretty much sure the whole state of Florida, I mean, the Keys, I know they do harvest them and keep them in the Keys and eat them, but I do think there has been some cases of cigatari in the Keys. I'm not 100% sure on that. That's something you need to look up. But where I live, here in Central Florida, in the Ponce Inlet area, there's never been a case, and I've been eating Barracuda since I was in my 20s. That's a long time, because I'm almost 50. And we eat them all the time. Every year we catch them and we eat them. I've, I've fed them to my family and there's been no cases, no one's had any ill effect whatsoever. Plus, like I say, we keep some of the smaller cooters. We don't really keep real big ones. Nothing, no, nothing really over 50 and sometimes not even between 30 and 50. Most of the times under 30 pounds. Look at that, guys. 
coming, come on. Thank you so much for watching this video with me, guys. Another piece. Ooh, you're hot. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in every week and watching my videos. You guys mean the world to me. You really do. I know I say it all the time. I probably sound like a broken record, but it's the truth. You guys really mean the world to me. And without y'all, I couldn't be doing this. And I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for allowing me to do this each and every day. So I appreciate it. Well, so see y'all again, guys. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Timeline, Jerry Rockers, and I'm going to see y'all real soon. <laughs>